let's see how we can use PowerFX to navigate between different screens in our Power Apps Canvas applications. When I click this button here, I want to show information about the selected desk. And below you notice, I have a button that will take me back to the previous screen. We can move between different screens like this with two different PowerFX functions. If we look at this icon's on select property, you'll see I'm using a function called navigate. We can pass in two different parameters in this navigate function. The only one that's required though is the name of the screen that you want to navigate to. I want to navigate to a screen called desk select. So I've typed in the text and then the other additional parameter that we can pass in is if we want to specify a transition effect for when we move to the other screen. If you leave this blank and don't specify, it will default to none. What about this back button though? Let's take a look at what function we're using for that. In its on select property, you see we have a power effects function called back. This one's smart enough to know whatever previous screen we were in, just route us back to that. So now you know how to move between screens in your Power Apps Canvas apps.